This I wanna nail sports to the one Top blog or top YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell What's up my wonderful peeps? Sports to the bone here again man Shout out to all the viewers Subscribers and the followers Big up on yourself Alright my viewers and subscribers So as you know we are trying our best to see if we can Cover the T20 World Cup that is going on Earlier today we had Afghanistan taking on Scotland and I must say that one was a one-sided game but you know we had some excellent performances there that I am certain you guys are go going to want to hear about so just going to take some time and go through that for you but before we go any further you already know the golden rule just go right ahead smash a like on the video if you have not yet subscribed go right ahead subscribe to the channel and also make sure you drop a comment now, Afghanistan, my viewers and subscribers, they showed that they are not to be taken lightly. I know persons will say, but come on, Lennox, that was only Scotland. Well, Scotland qualified for the World Cup. And, you know, if you play them, you still have to beat them. And Afghanistan did not just only beat them, but they beat them quite comprehensively, quite easily. You understand? So we're going to take a look at it once again. We see a team, well, I mean, the, the team that batted first this time, they were able to win the, 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 the game. So, yeah, man, Afghanistan batted first and they got 190. Big, big total, my viewers and subscribers. Yeah, man, I think it was um, the guy Hazard Tula. He got 44 of 30. Uh, Ramanullah got 46 of 47. While Najubala got um, 59 of 34. So those are the guys that really stood out for um, Afghanistan with the bat. Yeah, man, a couple of good innings at the top and then a couple of um, cameo at the back end. Now, bowling for Scotland, I think it, they only have Sharif. He got um, two for 33 for, for Scotland, you know. He, yeah, two for 33. He actually led the way. Now, in reply, my viewers and subscribers, Scotland's batting... You know, it, it, it just had no chance. It crumbled all over the place, left, right, and center. Mujib, Mujib, Mujib. Mujib was excellent. He had five wickets for 20 runs in his four overs. You understand? I know that the umpires, they won't be the most popular of umpires in Scotland are the most popular of people in Scotland right now, seeing that a couple of the wickets were given out an umpire's call. You understand, you know, he could have gone the next way. So if umpire had said not out, then the batsman would have remained there. But it just wasn't to be. And Moji was able to hit the pads all over the place, my viewers and subscribers. The batsmen, they were just not able to pick him. You understand? And in those four overs, you know, didn't win for much. As I said, just 20 runs and five wickets. So he did extremely well. At one point, he was even on, an, on a hat-trick. Yeah, man, he bowl, got two wickets in two bars, but the batsman came in and, you know, he was able to survive the, the, the hat-trick ball. And I think he actually went on to get a third wicket in one of the overs. So he, he did pretty well. You understand? He basically cleaned up the top order. And, you know, the, the, the genius Rashid Khan with his leg spin came in afterwards and basically wiped up the tail. You know, Rashid Khan, he got four wickets for nine runs. Of 2.2 overs. Yes, my viewers and subscribers, you are hearing me right. Four wickets for nine runs of 2.2 overs. You understand? Can you imagine as a team, you are out there struggling at maybe 20 yard or 30 yard for three, four, still in the power play and by your look, you know, when the power play is over, you already lose four or five wickets. And when you look, Rashid Khan is coming in to bowl his first over. It was just, it was just a nightmare out there. You understand? And I mean, you know, usually when Afghanistan is playing, you know, usually when, when um, Rashid Khan comes in, it's usually to give them a wicket or break a partnership. But he came in when Mujib already did most of the damage and he did not even waste any time. I think it was about his second delivery or the third delivery that he struck. Yeah, man, he struck in his either the second or the third delivery when he came on. And, you know, they didn't waste and they didn't allow the tail to wag. They just bowled wicked to wicked. The batsmen, they were not able to pick them any at all. 
You understand? And they played around the balls. They, they got some googs. You know, it, it was just a nightmare out there. But one thing I am, I am sure of, they at least made it out of the 50s. You understand? They made it out of the 50s because they got bowled out for 60. Yeah, man, they got bowled out for 60. And, um, you know, that gave Afghanistan a, a victory by, by 130 runs. So at least they, 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 the Scotland people, they can't say they have scored the lowest total so far in the World Cup. We all know who, who have that title as we speak. You understand? So that is how that game went, my viewers and subscribers. Af Afghanistan totally outplaying, um, you know, Scotland winning by 130 runs. You know, Moji with four with five wickets, five for twenty, and um Rashid Khan with four for nine of two point two overs. So the spinners basically did the job for them. So yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, that is how that one went. So moving on to the next topic, my viewers. Now tomorrow, I don't even want to go too much into this because you know. Tomorrow, I, I think we might be live later on and we can discuss it. But West Indies, they are all set to take on South Africa tomorrow morning. And I, I am telling them, my viewers and subscribers, they will. You know, it is not a if or, or, or a maybe. They need to bounce back and make a statement. And when I say make a statement, I mean make a big, big statement. Whether they want to bowl out South Africa cheaply and then go and get off the runs quickly or whether we bat first and set a big total and then bowl them out cheaply it doesn't matter whichever way it goes we need to make a statement and to show that here what we are defending champions and we are not going to just roll over and take it like that you understand but as i said hopefully we can do a little, little live you know around about 7 pm this evening by the time you guys are hearing this it might be you know, maybe about run about after five, six there about. You know, so you will gear up yourselves and get ready for the live a little later on. Yeah, man. But um, the, the, our group, our group, group looking not looking too bad. You know, um, you know, I think South Africa, Australia, Australia, they beat South Africa already. So we just need to make sure that we go out there and beat South Africa. And when we play Sri Lanka, we beat them. And when we play Australia, we beat them. You understand? It is, we, 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 just can't, we just cannot afford to, we can't afford to, um, to, 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 to lose any more game right now. If we are serious about going through and really making a statement, we cannot, we cannot, um, we cannot afford to lose any game. But I guess the, the, the coaches and the captain, the coach and the captain said that they are going to put this game behind them and move on. So hopefully we'll be able to do that. You know, India, they were totally um, thumped by Pakistan yesterday. And I am certain that they still have the title of favorites. So if they lost like that and, you know, they still carry their title, then, you know, it's, 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 just, it's just fair for us to say, all right, let's give them a chance. But the only difference is when you look at some of these teams, you know, if you look at the India they have Virat Kohli, a man that will be able to bat for a period of time that can actually bat and not just swing the bat. You know, if you look at Pakistan, Babar Azam can bat and not just swing the bat. New Zealand, Kane Williamson can bat and not just swing the bat. Any team you're looking at, all right? If you look at South Africa, they have people up the top there that will bat. Same thing with, 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 with um, England. You understand what I mean? In the middle, they might they have people that will come in and stabilize the inning. So that is what we want. We want people to we want a one or two player that you know you can depend on to go out there and say, All right, I am going to drop anchor and I am going to make sure that we don't get bowled out cheaply. Or if we are chasing, you know, I anchor one end and play quality shots, not hit ball in here. You understand, but play quality shots and try to get the team across the line. But we're going to leave this one right here for no more viewers and subscribers. Sports to the bone. Keep you informed. Please remember to like, share, leave us a comment. If you have not yet subscribed, please go right ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'm out.